general evaluator, fellow Toastmasters and Joseph Das in particular. Today we are attempting project 2 from the humorous speaking manual which calls to give a serious talk with two humorous stories, one at the beginning and at the end. And did you live up to this project guideline? You absolutely did. You gave us, I'll, I'll evaluate your speech by giving you two of your strong points. One, stories. You had three brilliant stories and three brilliant stories which made us laugh out loud. The first story about the astrologer, you'll get used to it. It was reminding me of my marriage. <laughs> then, <laughs> the second story about your friend who lacked enthusiasm, which reminded me of Richard D'Souza and Pramo. Okay. And the final story about that dog. And all the stories were very well knit together, giving one strong message of not to assume. The second strong point of your entire presentation was your characterization. Your energy on stage always spills out and that lived up. The way you characterize the astrologer, the way you char characterize the friend of yours, we could actually see them. But the most exemplary characterization was about the dog. I think so, that exemplary dog came inside you. You know, because the way, <laughs> the way you said that ferocious dog jumped and all, Bhavna held my hand. I was thinking, wow. Oh. <laughs> it was so happy. Fantastic characterization. <laughs> so you lived up to that characterization, and I think so that brought out the entire speech. Now I have two small suggestions for you to improve. One, whenever you are giving a humorous talk, <laughs> never ever okay. announce to the audience that I am going to tell you a humorous story. And that's what you did when you came on. A humorous story is never supposed to be announced. You cannot come on stage and tell, I'll tell you a joke or I am going to tell you a humorous story. Because I did that once when I was giving this presentation. I said, I am going to, to tell you all a joke. Somebody stood up from the audience and told, you tell, we'll decide whether this is So, who are you going to tell you whether it's a So, don't announce. Wait. Take the audience by surprise. So, never announce. And second thing which I wanted to tell you was, although the ending was a story, I think so you ended with a small plea for us, all of us to assume, why do you have to do that? The, you have to end on a high. So I thought the ending could have been a better. At the end, after telling the story about the dog, you came and told us, please, my humble request to you all is that you are please don't assume things. No, no, no. You don't have to beg the audience. You could have ended on a high by telling, remember audience, if you all assume, you all will land up with the letters of the word assume. A S S U M E. You'll become an ass of you and me. <laughs> that would have added a punch to the entire speech. So make the ending with a punch. But for a very good job, for your wonderful characterization, and for stories well knit, you deserve a big round of applause.